So welcome to my video here where I'm going to talk about polynomials. We're going to learn everything from types of polynomials like a monomial, binomial, trinomial. We're going to learn how to find the degree of, the degree of a polynomial. We're also going to talk about combining like terms and um, how to put a polynomial in standard form and the leading coefficient. Okay, so first thing what we need to make sure we all know is what the basic definition of a monomial is. Basic definition of a monomial is a polynomial made up of just a constant, a variable, or the product of both. So five is a monomial, x is a monomial, five x is a monomial. Um, we've also learned a lot about monomials leading up to this uh, lesson. We know that 5x squared is a monomial. Any positive exponent is a monomial. If we see any plus signs or minus signs, then it's not a monomial because that means they're separating terms. Can't have any negative exponents. Can't divide by a variable. We can divide by a number, though. x over 2 is a monomial because it's really 1 half x, a number multiplied by a variable. So once we know what a monomial is, a binomial is the sum of two unlike monomials. And I say unlike, and I'm just going to move my screen. I say unlike because we need to make sure that we know that 3x plus 5x is not a binomial. 3x plus 5x is actually 8x. So it's a monomial. It's just one term. Mono means one, bi means two, and the next one, tri, means three. So it's got to be the sum of unlike terms, where you can't simplify it. Like 2x plus 7, that would be a binomial. 7 plus 8 wouldn't be a binomial, because you can simplify 7 plus 8 and make it 15. A trinomial, <coughs> excuse me, a trinomial is the sum of three unlike monomials. So same idea as a binomial, but a trinomial would be three. Now, the degree of a monomial. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents within the term. So here, if I have this one term, this monomial, 4x to the third, the degree is simply just 3, because that's the only exponent that I see. However, if I have 4x cubed y squared, the way I find the degree here is I take the sum of the exponents. 3 plus 2, and the degree would be 5. Okay, so this first term has a degree of 3. The second monomial here in my example, 3 plus 2, gives me a degree of 5. Now, the degree of a polynomial would be that I would have to find whatever the greatest degree of the polynomial is by finding the individual degrees of each monomial. Bear with me. So, 4x to the third y squared. 3 plus 2 is 5. So, this first term has a degree of 5, and we knew it's 5 because we did that problem here. Look at the second term separately. 2 plus, remember, there's an exponent of 1 here with the y. 2 plus 1 is 3. So the first term here has a degree of 5. The second term here has a degree of 3. The last term has a degree of 1. Because think about it, there is really an exponent of 1 there. So then the degree of the poly is whatever the greatest degree is. First term has a degree of 5. Second term has a degree of 3. Last term has a degree of 1. Which one's the highest number? 5, 3, or 1? It's 5. And that's how we find the degree. Let's do some practice problems. Okay. Okay. First expression. Sorry, I clicked too much. First expression. Ah. Okay. First expression. 4y minus 5x to the fourth is z type of polynomial. So I have to say, I have one term and a second term. So it looks like a binomial. Can I combine those two terms together? Are they like terms? Like terms have the same base with the same exponent. Do these have the same base with the same exponent? No. It's a binomial. Now, the degree. 4y has a degree of 1 because y really has that exponent of 1. 5x to the fourth z would have a degree of 4 plus 1, which is 5. The degree is whatever the highest degree is, which is 5. Next one, 6x to the third plus 4x um, squared plus 3. None of these are like terms. Yes, they both have an x as a variable, but they do not have like exponents. 
So 6x to the third plus 4x squared plus 3 is simply just that. It's three terms, which means it's a trinomial. Okay, none of those are like terms. You can't add x cubed and x squared. So now the first term has a degree of 3. The second term has a degree of 2. My last term, notice you don't see any variables at all. That would mean that it's got a variable with a zero exponent because anything to the zero power we've learned is really one. My highest degree is three. Next term, negative 6.5. One term, so it's a monomial. Degree, I don't see any variables, so that my, means my degree is zero. 8a. One term, so I know this would be a monomial. 8a, a would be to the first power, so that's my degree. Now watch out for this next one, 6x minus x plus 4. 6x minus x, 6 oranges minus an orange is 5 oranges. So 6x minus x plus 4 really is 5x plus 4. 5x plus 4 is really a binomial. It has a degree of 1, and that would be it. Now, this is often the question that students get wrong. They think it's a trinomial. We see three terms. But remember, we always have to check and look to see if we can combine any terms. In this case, we could. Last one, 26b squared. I only see one term here, no pluses, no minuses, so it's a monomial. And my degree would be the exponent of 2. My phone is ringing. Now we're done. Good. I hope that went over very well for you. Last part of our lesson today, understanding standard form and how it what it means to find the leading coefficient. Standard form of a polynomial isn't the standard form that you learn in linear equations. Standard form for a linear equation is ax plus by equals c. Standard form for a polynomial means that we have the polynomial all arranged in order so that it goes from the highest degree to the lowest degree, okay? The highest degree to the lowest degree, kind of like if you were told to line up in your classroom, and you were told that you have to line up highest person to lowest person or tallest person to lowest person. Here, I would look at this four-term poly. The first term has a degree of what? Four. Negative seven has a degree of zero. Five x squared y would have a degree of 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. My last term has a degree of 5. So if I wanted to order these from greatest degree to least degree, my first term would be 6x to the fifth. That has the highest degree. What would come next is the highest degree. 4x to the fourth. Then 5x squared y and then a negative seven. So highest degree, degree of five, four, three, and then zero. Leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is kind of like the line leader. So if I said to my class, hey, line up tallest person to shortest person, that would be standard form. It would be this degree. And now the line leader is the coefficient of my first term in standard form, only in standard form. So here, my line leader is, I'm having a hard time clicking today, six. Once your polynomial is in standard form, you can see the leading coefficient. The polynomial, the way it looked before, it wasn't in order, and I wouldn't say the leading coefficient is 4. Okay, let's try some practice problems now. Feel free to pause if you want to try these out on your own or just follow along with me. Okay, first one. <sighs> 9x squared plus 3x to the 6th minus 4x. Highest term, degree, 3x to the 6. Next would be 9x squared. Last would be negative 4x. Once it's in standard form, we can see our leading, leading coefficient. It's the number in front. It's 3. Next one. Can you tell which one has the highest degree? you said 8y, um, 8xy squared, you're correct. It has a degree of 3. Then 6xy, which has a degree of 2. Then 5y, that has a degree of 1. 
and then 12 that has a degree of zero. Leading coefficient, eight. Next one, highest degree, five y squared. Next, negative four y. Last, plus two. Leading coefficient, positive five. Highest degree, negative seven x squared. Don't forget about that minus sign in front. That's really a negative. Plus six x, plus eight. Leading coefficient would be negative seven. And our last one, highest degree, x to the fifth, plus x to the third, minus x, plus three. That has a degree of five, three, a degree of one, and then a degree of zero. Leading coefficient, that number in front of the x to the fifth is really a one. That's it. I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about polynomials if you were unsure. And join me for another video. Bye, guys.